It has been almost six months since the Boston Marathon bombings that killed three people and left many others horribly injured. That phrase, Boston strong, we heard a lot of in the days after the tragedy, remains the mantra for victims of the attack. And today we saw just how strong as some of them took the next big steps in their lives. Good morning, everybody! On a field in Boston this morning, an amazing display of courage and strength. At a running and mobility clinic offered by the Challenge Athletes Foundation, people of all ages, all skill levels, and each with their own unique story, trying to regain their footing in life. Reach out, Heather! Something Heather Abbott lost when a bomb blast as she watched the finish of the Boston Marathon in April ultimately cost her her leg. It just feels like reaching another milestone and getting back to the way things used to be. Um, you know, it's kind of a step in the right direction. A brand new... Fat Heather received her first running runner. leg at a ceremony last night, her fourth prosthetic so far. And this morning, she took her first steps in that new artificial limb. The thought of actually running again no longer seems impossible. When I first had to experience using it, I thought, I'm never, I'm never going to be walking. And um, I did it. <laughs> Celeste Corcoran lost both legs in the bombing. What she didn't lose was her determination. If you know that the exercising that you need to do is going to get you your independence, then you're going to do it. Right over left, I love it. The participants often find strength in numbers. Athletes really gain confidence. They get to see other athletes doing things that they thought that they might not be able to do. Coaches and mentors are paired with the amputees. At Celeste's side, the reassuring face of retired Marine Sergeant Gabe Martinez, who knows a lot about overcoming adversity. He lost both his legs in combat in Afghanistan. I tell them, don't push yourself too hard. Take it day by day and just, just live your new life. Cheering each other on as these champions for life take another step towards independence. Learning to adapt makes for an uneven road. Both women say they have good days and bad days, but try to stay positive and focus on the future.